All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here back at the laboratory. Um, this is going to be a mix of a laboratory, a house that evolves. Um, it's going to be interactive. You guys kind of get to decide what is done next in additions to this house. And as more things are added to the game, we will experiment with them all, build them all, show you guys how to do it, and see what they do. Um, cool thing, I raided the military chopper earlier and I found the Pro 90. This gun was one of the few guns that I haven't been able to find for a while, but I did find it, so that is pretty awesome. I find that Uzis are pretty common. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. So if you look on the left, you can see that this is another crafting tutorial. This one specifically related to um, traps and explosives and uh, explosive traps. So as you can see, it's a pretty comprehensive list. We have a lot of things we're going to be building. The shields, both wooden and metal, spike traps and caltrops, um, snares, you've got barbed wire and the wire fences and electric fences. Then we're going to cover the basic materials such as wire, cans, nails, bolts, and scrap metal um, because a lot of these things, you don't have to just loot for them, you can simply find them. And then we're going to get into the explosives, the trip mines, land mines, and the mother of all bombs. So that is pretty cool. Now, so let's get into it starting with the shields. So we did cover the shields um, and the spike traps in our crafting tutorial. If you haven't seen that, um, check it out. The link will be on this page as well. And if you have seen it, simply click an annotation to the left to skip to the next section. But here we go with the wooden shields. So wooden shields, we're going to need three boards and a nail. So we're going to go to our crafting chest here and grab a bunch of nails, a bunch of bolts, a bunch of duct tape. Um, we'll even grab the scrap metal. And then we'll go out to kind of where we've been producing most of our building materials out here. Those are sticks. And we're going to need some boards. So let's see. The wooden shield is three boards and one nail. And the metal shield is four scrap and two bolts. So pretty easy. We'll get our three boards and one of the nails and we'll make a wooden shield. And um, if you want to see what that looks like, it's more of like, think about this. Um, if someone was sniping in that farmhouse, I could use this, you know, as a little firing point kind of to use. Um, you can also barricade doors from zombies. So whether it's PVE or PVP, the wooden, wooden shield's not too bad. Now, obviously, the metal shield would be better, so let's find our scrap metal, which is hiding in here somewhere. We've got some stones. Um, now we got to go over to the fire, put the stones in the crafting bin here, hit the fire, and then we get some scrap metal. Alrighty, so we've got some six scrap metal because a metal shield's actually relatively expensive in terms of scrap metal. You're going to need four scrap and two bolts, so we'll get our bolts and our scrap metal don't need the fire so we'll take that out boom metal shield so where is our metal shield where did it put it didn't look like it built we did not hit the crafting button like a noob so here's metal shield similar in concept um, however it's not really slanted it's just straight up and it's got a nice viewport so I think of this like it'd be cool like the little SWAT team tactical shields that they can bring in with them. This one's a static one that is immovable, but it's got a nice viewport um, and it probably has some greater durability than the wooden shield. So now we're going to move on to the spike traps, which we've made before. Um, you're going to need a pocket knife and sticks. Um, most people will see pocket knives and simply pass them up unless you know how to craft. Then you realize that a spiked or a pocket knife is actually a rather good tool to have hanging around. Not a very good melee weapon, although you can use it as one. So let's see. To build a spike trap, we're going to need two sticks and a pocket knife to make one spike, and it takes four spikes. So we're going to need eight sticks. We'll put that in the crafting menu. We'll take the pocket knife and put it on the tool insignia, and boom, we have our spikes. Then you take the pocket knife out of the tool area in the crafting menu, take your wooden spikes, you need four, and boom, you got yourself a wooden spiked trap. Now, I built one the other night and it was 
Um, pretty cool. These, these are pretty good. Let's let's find a, a nice spot to put this, like a place that would be relatively camouflaged. Here's one of the bushes that you'll often find some berries in. I think that'd be a nice little place to stick one because it's a little more camouflaged, you know? I mean, you can kind of see it, but we placed it there, so we're looking for it. I don't think most people would be looking for spike traps out in the wilderness. Um, you can put them in choke points when you're doing PvE and worrying about zombies. You can use them if you're sniping in a building to kind of cover doors, so you can hopefully, like, bleed out the enemies before they get in, things like that. And now it's time for some caltrops. Caltrops are extremely easy. We're just going to need some nails. Looks like we ran out of nails. <clears throat> and um, so we'll go to our utility thing here. Oh, we had the nails. We just did not see them. So going back over here, take nails. You only need two to build one caltrop. So caltrops can be mass produced relatively easily if you want. Caltrops are fun because they're smaller. They're not as durable as some of the other traps like the spikes or barbed wire here. But they're pretty small, and um, I'm wondering if they could be used to get on vehicles in the future, like pop tires and stuff like that, because they really look like that's what they're intended to do. Yeah, they work against people, but it's really it really looks like the things that you see in those spy movies when people drop them out the window, and the f pursuing vehicles blow their tires and spin and flop around and all that kind of stuff. So that would be pretty sweet to have in the future. Since we already do have the car jack and things like that, maybe there would be something like you need to replace a tire. It could be a whole new resource and it would make greater use of the caltrops because they don't really look like man killing devices to me, but that's my own opinion. So now we are going to make some barbed wire. All right, so to build barbed wire, you simply need two wire. Put it in the crafting menu and boom, you get a barbed wire. Now, Barbed wire can be used to make some other things, which we'll cover in the fences um, in electric trap in a moment. But first, we're going to make a snare. And for a snare, we're going to need two scrap metal and one can. So let's go back to our main crafting chest. Where are our cans? So we got a can. So it is one can and two scrap metal and you get a snare snares are pretty cool um, I like to think of it as like a bear trap because it's not a landmine but you start to bleed out if you step on it like this is a very nasty area I could easily die and lose all of my skill points that I have maxed out if I was just to wander into this area um, <clears throat> maybe tripping on some berries or something so now that we have our fences or excuse me, our snare. We're gonna learn how to make the basic materials before we're gonna do the traps and electric fences and stuff like that. So let's cover the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna want a handsaw and a hammer, and we already showed that the pocket knife was used to sharpen sticks. So we are first gonna take the handsaw. Now the handsaw can be used to craft from scrap metal wire. And another thing you're gonna need to do is cook up stone to make metal. You're gonna to have to have a working fire, take your stone, put it in there, fire, boom, scrap metal. Cover that. Let's see, we may have to go mine some stones because a lot of this stuff is rather expensive in terms of uh, scrap. So to make an electric trap, we're gonna need three scrap and two wire. So we'll take the fire out of that. Three scrap, two wire. That's duct tape. Electric trap. Now, to make one wired fence, you're gonna want three barbed wire. So we're gonna need more wire. Boom, boom, boom. Got ourselves three barbed wire. Three barbed wire and two supports. So we have supports in here readily available in terms of sticks to craft into them alright so now that we have that 
get our wooden supports and our barbed wire and we can make a barbed wire fence now this is the cool stuff because especially if you have a really awesome base and you just want to protect it against zombies or even players you can put these all around your base and they're really cool and they kill you <laughs> wow well look at that this is what happens when you have a bad time with uh, your own traps look at all this stuff anyway after I collect all this we're gonna get back to tutorials and I'm not gonna be testing out them on myself anymore because it's a terrible idea and you lose half your skills furthermore after um, I didn't press respawn at home I just said respawn and uh, as we will see in a moment I done dirt because I died again so I'm an idiot anyway back to the tutorial all right ladies and gentlemen so after that fun experience with the barbed wire fence we are back on track that was an incredible surprise to me that that happened but we are going to make an electric trap which is three scrap metal and two wire electric traps are pretty cool fun little traps to make and um, we're gonna have to build another barbed wire fence to make an electric fence because it requires a fence as one of the crafting components which you will see here momentarily three barbed wire two wooden supports gets us the very dangerous barbed wire fence which we're worried about now if you were to get a barbed wire fence and four pieces of scrap metal you can then make an electric fence like so now the thing to keep in mind about the electric fence is you need a generator I believe so here's what a a normal <laughs> not gonna get close to it a normal barbed wire fence looks like and here's what an electric fence looks like and you see how when you pull that one out as opposed to this one um, this one needs a radius because it needs it needs a generator to power it now we're gonna put it next to one of our generators I think just to kinda show you what it does and we'll have to so it's glistening now if I were to turn the generator off I believe it would now it's a normal barbed wire fence and I would normally run into it but I'll be honest man I gotta keep these skills so we've covered the basic we've covered the shields some of the basic traps and some of the basic fences now I'm going to show you the basic crafting materials to make those so you don't have to rely simply on looting now one of the tools you're going to want to have is handsaw and a hammer and between those two and a campfire those are the three tools you're going to need so first we're going to get one scrap metal and if you take a scrap metal piece of scrap metal and you take a handsaw you can see how you can make wire now if you were to take two scrap and a hammer let's see where's our scrap pile at here we go we're gonna take a bunch of this so if you were to take two scrap metal and you were to get a hammer and put it in the tool you would get a can now cans are good um, you can make a lot of things with it it's just one of the basic building materials now if you were to take one scrap metal you could turn it into nails and if you were to take one scrap metal in a campfire you're gonna get bolts as we'll see here so you gotta be near the campfire hit that bolts and there we have pretty much everything now there is one more recipe I think is pretty fundamental and that is you're gonna need a can and an animal pelt now this is one of the weirdest ones if you think about it it must just be that like you will we'll see what happens right it makes duct tape one can and one animal pelt makes two pieces of duct tape and from then you pretty much have all of the basics covered so we're gonna offload all this stuff because now I think it's safe to say that you guys and myself are interested in what's gonna happen next we're gonna cover the explosives and then we're gonna do some zombie tests 
we're going to show how to make the explosives, and then we're going to test them out. I'm pretty excited for that, so we're going to just dump all this stuff off. We're going to keep, actually the electric trap also requires um, a generator being around. So we'll offload everything that we don't need. Get it out of the way because we are heading into, back into the lab and over here to where I have these traps. These are the explosives. Now I have raw explosives and um, you're gonna need crafting level two. And look at that, this was maxed out before this episode but we had a funny experience um, with that barbed wire fence. So you're gonna need crafting level two to make these advanced explosives. A Moab is one of them. And then if you look over here, where is it at? You can make trip mines and land mines. And these are some of the things we're gonna be testing out. So we're gonna put them in our inventory. We don't need the electric traps because we're not gonna be testing out those. We're gonna take one of these Moabs. These Moabs are dangerous. Uh, I had a friend drop one off and he couldn't get out of the blast radius in time. It's got a six second fuse. But these trip mines and land mines we're gonna test out and maybe, just maybe, we'll try to mow up for fun. So first, we're gonna learn how to make the trip mine. And we are, in fact, going to need wire, so we're gonna go back and get that. We're gonna need a bunch of wire and even a can. But we learned how to make both wires and cans, so we should have plenty enough. All right, where's our handsaw? We put it over here, handsaw. All right, so craft, handsaw, scrap metal, gonna need a lot of wire, we'll just get it all. We'll dump off our handsaw so we know where it is for when we need it in the future, and we have enough wire, and we got a can, I believe. Nope, need to, get, need to pick up the cans. And um, we have duct tape because those are the three requirements we're gonna need for these advanced explosives. So now we'll head over here, and we are going to make a landmine first, which I think is more basic. So we're going to take one can, pick up all of our explosives first, alright, so one can and two raw explosives will make a landmine. Now, if you were to take four wire, four wire and two raw explosives should get us a trip mine. So this should go down to, mm, down to four. Yep. So you know what? Let's just make a few more because these could be pretty cool. All right. So we've got four uh, trip mines and two land mines and we'll take out one Moab. And if you want to learn how to make a Moab, you're going to need three raw explosives and two pieces of duct tape to make that. But we used up all of our raw explosives. So we'll take our, well, actually we already had a Moab in there. And you know what, just for fun, we'll take, we'll take a frag grenade. And we're going to learn how to make frag grenades in the next episode when we do advanced weapons, how to reload, um, best weapon setup, something like that. So now we're going to head to the airport where we are going to find a decent variety of both military and civilian zombies and we're going to be testing out these new explosives. Alright guys, so we made it to the airport. Now it's time to do some tests. Now first, I'm not really sure how the trip mines work. This is going to be fun because this is the first time I've ever done it. It looks like a claymore, so I think we can run up and trigger this guy. Looks like we'll get two, potentially, if we set it up right. Alright. Oh man, that's pretty awesome. It's just like a claymore. Alright, that worked out because we weren't really in too much harm. Now we've got a few more. Seems to be just like the... Oh god. Alright, we're gonna put it over there. Oh my god. We blew ourselves up again. <laughs> you gotta be very careful with explosives. Um, 
but that should cover how to build them all. And we've had some bad run-ins. These things are dangerous. They're double-edged swords, most assuredly. And we also learned how not to use these explosives. Furthermore, claymores seem to, uh, traditionally, will only, you know, fire off in one direction. These claymores are a little special. <laughs> so, as we... <laughs> good lord. We're going to switch over to Buckshot. And look at this. We just burned through all of our skills here today. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh my god, it's so sad because I'm going to have to get all these back. Um, but you know what? The laboratory's looking good. I know that next we're going to be covering weapons because I've got a ton of weapons. We're going to be covering how to make frag grenades and things like that. And we may be even doing a Moab test in the future since I've already burned through a lot of my skills already. But advanced farming and advanced weapons because quite frankly we're going to find out which are the better guns, where to find them, which magazines go with what, um, is it does it take military or civilian bullets, body armor, all that kind of stuff. How to get kitted out and get really, you know, ready for the war. Because m pretty much weapons like uh, firearms are mostly for PvP. You can get away in PvE easily with a good melee weapon like an axe or katana. I mean, if you're skilled, you can even get away with a, a pocket knife. But um, anyway, my name is Baron. I hope you all found this uh, both educational and the fails and the explosion. Uh, the explosive test at the end entertaining let me know what you guys want to see next advanced farming um, advanced weapons stuff like that thanks for watching make sure to give this video some love because you know what it cost me a few deaths and many many skill points were lost in the making of this video thank you all for watching see you guys next time frag out Oh man, that was awesome. You know what? Oh, look at that. They're chasing it. You know, we're gonna do the Moab test. You thought I wasn't gonna do it? You thought I wasn't gonna do a Moab test? What? <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It triggered. It tr I mean, what just happened, guys? What just happened? That was a Moab. Those things can't be trusted. I would like to see someone in the comments let me know how to properly lo use those. But yeah, you guys thought I wasn't going to show off the Moab. Oh, we got we got to. That is the second Moab incident I've been involved in. Anyway, give this video some love. I lost every skill point I had probably. Thank you all for watching. And that was advanced explosions and traps. And by explosions, we mean explosives. And good lord are those explosive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So today we're going to be covering weapons, how to craft advanced explosives and traps, such as trip mines, landmines, snares. We've already covered wooden spikes and caltrops, um, electrical fences, things like that. We're going to be going over how to reload weapons, how to set up weapons, what are the best combinations for weapons, and then. Looking at this Matamoras, we're going to compare the Timberwolf and the Matamoras and figure out what is the best gun, as well as what's the best pistol, best shotgun, etc.